Hi everybody, I'm back. Hi everybody, I'm back and um, we've been talking about the armour of God tonight and I'm going to close up now. But something that's important, we need to do this every morning, put on the armour of God. And what I'm talking about here is basically we need to um, we need to put on the, the belt of truth. So in the morning, when we get up in the morning, we've got to put We've got to put on the, the, oops, we've got to put on the belt of truth. So we actually say, oh, I get up in the morning. Oh, hello, darling. How's your life? What? How's your night been, sweetie? Love you, darling. Love you. And you get up in the morning and say, oh, it's time to get up. I want to make a cup of coffee and have a stretch and whatever. And then we say, well, we need to pray before the kids get up or, you know, we need to sort of strengthen the, the family network and pray before the kids get up and we don't want to wake them up yet. Or they might be already up running about. So you might want to include the children in in this. And you can make it fun and you can make it whichever way you want it, but it's important to encourage the family to do it all together as well, putting on the armour of God. So we, what we do is we we put on the armour of God so we... we, we we go, well, okay, Lord Jesus, we're here to put on the armour of God today. And you can include your children, the kids in your family. So we, we just go, well, we're just putting on the thing, um, doing up the buckle and and making it nice and tight, the, the, the truth, putting on the belt, the belt of truth. So we put the belt of truth on and we put the belt of truth on. And once we put the belt of truth on, then we're going to put the breast, breastplate of righteousness on. So we, what we do is we, we put the breastplate of righteousness on. So we grab the breastplate of righteousness and we bring it over here and we put it on and we buckle it up and tighten it up so it's nice and firm and then we have the breastplate of righteousness on. And then we've got to take the shield of faith. Not the shield of faith, the shoes of preparation. So we need to put our shoes on next. So we put on the on the the, the, buck, the the belt of truth, the girdle of truth, and then we put on the, the breastplate of righteousness, and then we've got to put on the shoes. So we can say, well, it could be a thing that the kids need to get their school shoes on. So a good way of getting them to, to get dressed in the morning could be a good way of doing this. There's always good reasons to do things, and in God, everything is of good. So we put on the shoes of preparation of the gospel. So we put our shoes on. We put on the shoes. So we actually physically stand there and we put the shoes on. So we put the shoes on and we got the shoes on and we thank you. We, 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 we're always praying to God as we're doing this. And we say we put the shoes of preparation of the gospel of peace on. So as we're putting the shoes on, we, we put the shoes on. And then after we put the shoes on, we're going to take the shield of faith. So then we, grab, we physically grab out and we say, Lord Jesus, we take now the shield of faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We put the... We put the the, the belt of truth on, we put the breastplate of righteousness in, we put the shoes of preparation on, we are taking the shield of faith, thank you Lord Jesus. And then, and then after doing that, we take the helmet of salvation after the shield of faith, so we actually physically grab something like this and we say we put the, the helmet of salvation on and buckle it up and we see we do it physically. And then we start getting into a habit and into a routine that we do this every day. And then from the helmet of salvation, we take the sword of the Spirit. So we grab something like, for instance, the Bible. We might have a Bible in the bedroom. Here's another Bible that I have here. And what you do is you say you take the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. You know, the Word of God is the most important thing because what you do is why when you read the Word of God, then you start to plant seeds. And you start to plant, you start to plant seeds. And the things that fell on good soil multiplied and produced a great crop. So at the end of the day, what we want to do is we not only want to look at the Word of God, we, only, we want to take the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. And this is something that we take out into the world. And what does God say? Go out and preach the Word of God. Go out and win souls for God. Go out and preach my Word of God. Tell people how good I am. So if we take the Word of God, then what happens is we realise that we're going out and planting seeds. But we also have got to also remember we've got to put on the armour of God. 
So this is just a way that you can put on the armour of God. You put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of preparation, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit. And you also take the other um, other thing is the lances of prayers and the supplication of the Spirit. So at the end of the day, once you've put on the once you've done that, and you can make it as fun for kids or you can make it as a family thing to make sure that the children are actually walking in the sight of God as much as you're walking in the sight of God. You know, you can't have children that may be 13 or 14 and they might have a foul mouth, they might swear and you might be banging your head against the wall. But at the end of the day, you've got to ask yourself that you are the parent and you're responsible for how they're acting and how they're behaving. But see, by putting the, word, putting the armour of God on, taking that sword of the Spirit, taking the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of preparation for the Gospel, the belt of truth, if you're putting the armour of God on and God says, and what does God command us to do to do this every morning? As he says, take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Take the Word of God. What does the Word of God say? What does the Word of God say? He says to take the armour of God every morning. What to? To prepare you, to protect you from the devil. So when the devil comes in, tries to destroy you, tries to do things to you, you are prepared because you have the armour of God. But the other key stone that I've talked to in my other... Um, thing if you if you're obviously looking at this through Google, the other thing that I have been talking about before is about family and about prayer being the keystone. You've got to pray, pray as well. But anyway, I'm going to end this because I have to um, end this. But I think that um, I'll stop this for a minute and then we'll go forward from here.